News 12 High School Football Overtime, powered by Pioneer Metal Depot. Welcome to Saturday Overtime. I'm Rick Nyman. And I'm Brian Armstrong. We kick off our coverage with Walker Valley and Notre Dame. The Mustangs are coming off the best season in school history. The Irish, on the other hand, are trying to wake up the echoes under a new head coach in Brent Hill. Game of the Week, brought to you by Citizens Tri-County Bank. And start of a new Notre Dame era, but it's Walker Valley who strikes first as new starting quarterback Dawson Stum hits Romeo Yulu, and that breaks three tackles, breaks the goal line, and 6 nothing Mustangs. Notre Dame's first drive starts off well. E.J. Carter making it look easy as he cruises into the end zone. 8-6 Irish lead. But then Walker Valley returns. Malachi Martin up the middle, coughs it up. And then Kelly, the big man, gets on the ball, gets the touchdown. The offensive line just absolutely loving it. 13-8 Walker Valley. After the grab on this pass for Notre Dame, Aiden Burns makes a smart punch out here, recovered by Balin Beard. And that sets up Zeke Garrison on a QB blast who stuffs himself through the line and Walker Valley up 20 to eight. And Walker Valley goes on to win easily 54 to 24. Just down the road, McCauley with Ralph Potter in at the defensive coordinator role against CCS. CCS trails 10-0 early on in the fourth quarter. Nathan Dolich finds Caleb Zerowick for a fresh set of downs, but that drive would stall and end with a field goal by Deloach. 10-3, McCauley would lead and then would answer right back as Elliott RPO hits Teddy Wingfield, who wingles around and gets into the score 16-3. Next CCS drive ends in a punt and Keyshawn gets outside and has some blockers. Unfortunately, it's the blocker that's the problem. Called for blocking the back, but McCauley would still be in the red zone. Two plays later and Keelan Sim untouched into the end zone 23 to three. McCauley leads and McCauley goes on to win 41 to three. Area scores on our Saturday overtime show with Lee Roofing Sports. Sequatchie County falls to Bledsoe County 23 to 13. Cleveland beats Clinton 36 to 13. Other area scores, Ottawa falls to Central 40 to 12. And Signal Mountain and McMinn Central in a high scoring affair 45 to 29. After the Chat Prep Boys basketball team won a state title last year, the Sentinels football team believes they can have a title run as well. Yeah, Chat Prep opened their season against the coach who has the blueprint on football state titles. Boyd Buchanan's Gary Rankin, he has a state record 17 state championships. Coach Rankin watching this game from the press box on Friday. Opening drive for Chat Prep, Austin Jones. His pass is picked off by Hudson Womack. Bucks in business. Houston Hicks rolling out. He's going to throw it to Womack who makes a great grab at the pylon, dances in for the touchdown, 14 yards, 7-0 Boyd. The Sentinels regrouped. Jones going right. He literally throws open Jaden Parker for the touchdown, 11 yards in all. Sentinels tie it up at 7. Next Bucks series, Sebastian Bash Jones with the ball. Bass Jones looks like Dash Jones. It's a sprint, and they're not going to get him. 54 yards on that touchdown run to make it 13 to 7. Boyd Buchanan goes on to win it by a final score of a 26 to 7. East Ridge entertained Marion County. Start of the second quarter already 12 0 Warriors. Mason Mays plows into the pile. Ref says he got in there, so it's 19 0. You've heard of a shutdown corner. What about a shutdown D lineman? Because Mason Mays clearly shut down that play. Nothing to see here. Warriors with the ball again. Tilton Pickett, he's going for it all. And Sam Pickett is there. He hauls it in for the touchdown, 35 yards. It's now 26-0. Want to see one of the fastest punt returns ever for a touchdown? Short punt. Zayden Humphrey fields it on the fly. And before you can say Ramalama Dong Ding Dong, he scores. I made it 33 to nothing at halftime. And the Warriors celebrate a 40 to nothing victory. Back to the overtime school board, Polk County over Copper Basin, 46 to nothing. Any more scores on the Saturday overtime school board? Yes, Ringel beats Murray County, 48 to seven. Gordon Lee takes care of business against Lafayette, 21 to 10, the final in that one. Coming up, Sonny Daisy opens their season with a new coach and a brand new football field.